Hey, welcome to another week creator tutorial. Uh, we're working back in the attic this week. Um, I'm trying to finish some of the walls around a staircase that need to be finished all the way up to the sea, uh, to the roof line. And then Thomas is finishing the electrical. I'm pretty excited to see all the wires going in in the attic here. So we are almost done here. We have, um, Thomas was able to finish all the different um, wires to the boxes. There was one wire that he has left and we just ran out of it. So we have to finish that next week. But otherwise, all the wires were run to all the boxes. Not all of them are in, uh, inside and connected yet. And you can see uh, not all of them are secured yet to the studs but uh, we were able at least to run all that. So we are getting close to finishing the attic here too. So similarly to the roof um, over in the Elias's room, we also have to replace uh, one raft over here. So I am just supporting the roof this way, um, with bottle jack and some support underneath it. And so I can take the rafter out and replace it. There's also some of the um, top plate that needs to be replaced. So I'm gonna take this all out um, all at once and still have the roof in a secure manner.
So we are right here in the staircase to the attic and I finished a uh, wall all the way around where there was paneling and also open space. So I um, um, put walls up so that we can actually drywall it up. And then the next major thing that I had to do here is replace this entire corner. Um, the joist here that was going out on the, uh, for the soffit was all rotten and it was all leaning down, down already like 20, 20 degrees. So I really wanted to take this out and uh, shore it all up. I also took a little bit of the sill out because the sill was here um, rotten too a little bit. So I took that board out, I replaced all of that and then um, made sure that this is all stable. So the roof now has more stability here in this corner and also it gives us the opportunity to secure from the outside a little bit of um, the, or gives us something to screw on the, the boards that we're gonna have to replace on the outside on the soffit because before, um, with this all being rotten, there's really no way um, to mount the, the boards from the outside. So here you can see a little bit of close-ups of the work that I was able to get done this week. It doesn't seem like a lot, but that corner took a really long time with just having to figure out exactly how to cut the pieces and how to mount them the best way. Um, and then over here, um, I closed this wall up too. Well, I think this is it for this week. Um, it is a really nice Sunday out and I really want to spend some time with the kids out in the yard and doing some fun things there, planting maybe some flowers. So I will see you guys all next time I turn on the camera. Bye. I was able to take a few drone shots of the roof. And so I hope you guys enjoy seeing how the roof line was finished, that the um, slate is all the way finished down to the bottom and really seeing it all the way around of all the the big major changes that they made. Obviously the major, um, <clears throat> obviously the biggest change that you will see is the color difference between the slate that was already in the roof and the slate at the bottom few layers. So if you look closely in the back, um, right there where Elias' room is, there is actually a whole probably six or seven rows that they did because that's where the chimney was and that's where all that leakage and the rotted area was, so they, they fixed a lot more on that uh, section of the roof versus all of the other areas. It was really just the bottom layers where they took the Philadelphia gutters out. <laughs>